guys, it's Nat G here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I've, why do I always want to say prepared? I'm super excited because I really don't have any intentions of doing any more Christmas holiday looks. So this is it. Um, and I decided to bring you something sultry, honey. Something a little bit sexy, a little brown, a little little bronze, you know, that's what we're doing. We're doing sexy Christmas, sexy holidays, sultry, come on. I really just have done, I feel like holiday looks before and it's just like, everyone does the same thing. It's like a bronze eye, a red lip, green eye, nude lip, blue eye, nude lip. Like I'm trying to think outside the box, so let's keep it going. If I think of any more holiday looks, I might do it again but no promises right now. I've also been watching Star a lot lately and I kept looking at um, Ryan Destiny's like matte brown lip. I'm just like, I have a matte brown lip, why do I never wear one? So I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just take it out, blow the dust off of it. If you have any questions about my hair, I actually currently have a video up on my channel regarding this wig and how I customize it. It actually was probably one of the hardest experiences of my life um, when it comes to hair. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave something somewhere here so you can click on that video. I'll also leave it down below. And before we get into this video, be sure to be subscribed to me because if you want to see more hair videos, more fresh content, my nose is running. This is not a tissue. If you want to see more hair videos, more fresh content, um, cute looks like this, subscribe. Just do it right now and then we don't have to do it later and it's out of the way and it's just not awkward because then I'm going to be talking to you like you're someone who's subscribed. Can you subscribe to me or something? Um, Alright, let's get started. Alright, so... I was gonna say, are you done or are you finished? Okay, y'all, we're gonna start with Maybelline Baby Skin Primer to prime the skin. So I wanted a more glowy look, so I went in with the Fenty Pro Filter Matchstick in the shade Cinnamon, and then I used the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 440. Hmm. And we're just blending this into the skin with a damp beauty blender. And then I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 42. This is either Dark 42 or 44. I honestly can't remember, but I will leave the correct one in the description box down below. And we're just highlighting under our eyes, onto our eyes, our forehead, down our nose, our cupid's bow, and a lot on our chin. I don't know what kind of flex I was on, but I felt like concealing the hell out of my chin. And then again, we're just blending this out with a damp beauty blender and just pressing that into the skin. I still cannot get onto the whole flex of using like a makeup brush to blend out like concealer or foundation. It's just not for me. The effects from a wet beauty blender are just so much better. The reason I have that little line there is because of the fact that I almost create the illusion of a contour before I even contour and this gives me so much dimension and then when we move into contour we're using the Fenty Matchstick Trio in I believe it's deep um, and I'm just contouring my cheekbones, nothing else around the face. Then I was looking at my foundation and I felt like I was missing some coverage around my mouth so I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Cocoa and then blended everything out together. So then I take my Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in the shade Yellow and I use this to almost set my entire face, for sure concentrating it under my eyes, onto my eyelids, down my nose, basically everywhere where I had that concealer. Um, I've started bringing it into my eyebrows as well because I feel like it prepares the brows for the brows. I also do around my mouth and like I said, basically my whole face. It's almost like a translucent for me, so it works out. Then I contour with my MAC Studio Finish Powder, and I believe this is an NW48, and I bring that all around my face. 
moving into brows, I'm using the Morphe um, Arch Obsessions. I was a little confused there. Arch Obsessions kit. It was about 25 bucks Canadian, and it comes with a brush, a pomade, a pencil, um, a clear setting gel, and basically I'm using everything that comes in that kit right now. So right now I'm starting with the pomade and laying down my brows, and then I'm going to go in, well you'll see this, but I'm gonna go in with the pencil and the clear gel, and I find that this is like the perfect gift for anyone who's looking for a quick gift for someone who loves brows, this is a quick gift if you know their shade. This is actually in the shade Chocolate Mousse, and I actually have loved this brow kit ever since I bought it. I feel like it's nice, clean, natural brows. And again, moving into the pencil and just defining anywhere where the pomade couldn't give me precision. So around the arch, making any hair light strokes. I love it, it's perfect. And then setting it with the gel and we're done. Taking my MAC Studio Finish Concealer, on a small angled brush. I'm just cleaning up the brows very lightly. Moving into bronzer, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Mahogany. Like I said, I wanted this look to be super glowy, so that's why I contoured, then I bronzed, because I wanted it to be defined, but also like glow. It's eyeshadow time. So I'm using the Kylie Loves Jordan eyeshadow palette and the Soft Glam eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're going to start with, I believe that's orange soda. Wait, my bad, it's burnt orange, not orange soda. I'm just starting with burnt orange, making, oh gosh, making a transition. Then I'm going into this going into. I'm using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in this dark brown and I really just wanted it to be super smoky so I really wanted to lay down the brown and then we're going into Anastasia Beverly Hills's Cypress Umber and that's the brown we're gonna start with to start this smoky sultry look. It's super important and like crucial that you blend for your life when it comes to smoky looks because they can get very patchy and very ashy real quick, honey. Then I use another chocolate brown which is Sister from the Kylie Loves Jordan eyeshadow palette and basically this is to build upon the original brown but also diffuse it because Cypress Umber is deeper. So it's just giving me more smoke without having to get too dark too quickly. Moving back into Cypress Umber, because this is a halo eye, I'm just closing off the look and I'm getting it darker close to my inner corner as well as on the edge. Then I'm taking a bit of Max Mixing Medium, which is why it's clear, just because I really want these shimmers to come through. So we're gonna start with Sultry from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This was nice, but I wanted to take it to a whole nother level. So then I layered on top, Ride or Die, and this, took it off. I was like, this look is perfect after this. Perfect. So then I go back in with Sister from the Kylie Loves Jordan and just kind of blend in the halo. And then I bring Sister to my bottom lash line and I'm pretty sure, nope, we're not moving into mascara. Moving into eyeliner. So I have those two bluish eyeliners and I decided to go with the more green one, which is from NYX. It's their retractable eyeliner. I believe it's in the color like gypsy green or something like that, which is kind of offensive, but okay. Um, I'm going to use it in my waterline and basically just add a little bit of color, but still smoke it out. I just didn't want to use black. I felt like the brown on its own was too soft and black would be too harsh. Then I'm going to take Marry Me from the Kylie Loves Jordan palette and do the inner corner highlight. Girls, I... I'm sold on this palette just based off this color alone. Like, I've already talked about how much I love this palette, but I actually love Marry Me. It is a beautiful aquamarine blue. It looks so good on my skin. I love it. Then I take a little bit and I put it at the top of my eyelid, like, crease area. I don't know what to call that, but it just kind of tied everything together. Then I'm putting on my RD Beauty Stockholm lashes, but first a little mascara. Like, Christmas is a time to be cute and eat. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I hope you guys enjoy your holidays. Like, let me get this message in right now. I thank you for all the support in 2018 and hopefully we are still rolling in 2019. I pray there's a day where someone finds an easier way to either apply lashes or have your own lashes grow. Like eyelash extensions are not it for me. Fake eyelashes, I hate putting on, but I really need this length. 
Like I need the length for like a look like this. These lashes looked so good on, but like the process, I'm not here for. Like I don't know what to do anymore. Like sometimes they're a little bent. You kind of have to finesse it. For glow, we are using Artist Couture's Conceited in their Diamond Glow Powder. Like these highlighters are by far my favorite, the best. Like I always dabble in others, but I always come back to my true love, Artist Couture. Like it looks so good. Then I'm going into the Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa Bronzing Palette and I'm using Anti Depresso. And I added a little too much, but I just kind of wanted, again, more bronze. Lining our lips with ColourPop's BFF3. It's just a nice chocolate brown. I didn't go too dark, I just needed something neutral. And then setting our face with the Morphe Setting Spray. For the lip, we're using Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K, and just because it's a perfect matte brown for what I'm looking for, and I really feel like it tied everything together, like the eyes and the lips look so good together. And this is basically the finished look. Let me take off my head tie, and we will close this video off. I'm so in love with this look. Ugh, looks so cute. Oh my gosh. So thanks so much for watching that video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, what else do I have to say? Let me know if you're digging my sultry glam or no in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.